we start here at our um, default Star Trek support website. Um, you go to technical info, that is product software. You scroll down until you see eSpinner. In this case, we choose the English European version 109. We click on the button that says software. We save it. I just save it on my desktop in this way. Okay, now we have the software as in a zip file. That means those um, files are compressed. We have to uncompress them. Otherwise, we can't put it on the USB stick because the unit cannot read it. So we have to uncompress them or unzip them. So what we do now is we go to our computer, go to the desktop where we save the files, open up the zip file, In this case, I use um, WinRAR. So we open up all the files. We copy everything. Open up our USB stick, which should be empty, or at least it should. Um, other things should be placed um, in folders. So only these files we unzip now. We take them, put them on the root directory on the USB stick, so they are unzipped and in the root directory. That's very important. In this case, I have nothing else on the USB stick. Um, you can have something else there, but it has to be in folders, otherwise you have problems. So now we have everything on the USB stick. Next step is unplug the USB stick from your computer and go to the eSpinner. Now we upload the software into the display, we take a USB stick, plug it into the display on the left upper side, the display will recognize it and will tell you something about if your workout will be saved on a USB stick, you just say cancel, you press start, you go into the maintenance mode in the settings, 218 is the password. From here you go to maintenance mode, then on the upper side, very right top you can see, it says update code over the USB drive, insert the USB stick and update the code. So since we have a USB stick plugged in, this button is filled out with color, otherwise it wouldn't. So you can press update code. And then it starts to update the code. Which takes about four to five minutes maybe. Um, shouldn't take longer. And um, that's it. After that you don't have to even reboot the unit. It reboots automatically so you don't have to do that. Just unplug the USB stick and you should be good to go. We can verify if the software was uploaded correctly and verify the version. Go into the settings, press start, push those areas so the maintenance mode comes up, the password window 218, enter, go to calibration and setup and then in the lower portion of this you can see the version, the build, the kernel version and things like that so also you can see the Juno version in this case it's B24A if it says Juno invalid you might have to replace the Juno card in this case so this is just to double check what kind of software version you loaded onto it